Clubbing TV. Clubbing what, TV. What else would I watch? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, that's the only thing I watch all day. I'm with Mandy at the Marulus Island in Paris. How are you guys? Very good. Merci beaucoup. I can't talk. So. Uh, he's <laughs> talking for me. Yeah. Okay. So, are you excited for tonight? You're playing in one hour. Yeah, it looks amazing. Really, really nice outside. Of course, we've got. We are lucky. We've got the, the best floor. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, Guy Gaba is playing just right now, and it's, yeah, it looks amazing. It's like yeah. a really nice festival. I think it's the first day, no, of yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, and the man, it va pleuvoir. We're really lucky. It's not yeah. gonna rain. Yeah, best day, best uh, best stage. Uh, that's amazing. Best music when you play. Uh. Yeah. Everything. Okay, yeah, we we'll see today. Uh, and so, uh, all the Get Physical family is here? Yeah, it's Cats and Dogs, Audiofly, Bunkemood, Mandy, Audiofly, and um, Damien Lazarus. Yeah. yeah, nobody knows, but he's Get Physical, more Get Physical <laughs> than Cross Town Rebels, because yeah. he started to. Um, I think his whole career was built on Get Physical, on his Get Physical <laughs> release. No, he released an <laughs> album an hour. Nobody really realized, but we still have this, this long player of Damien Lazarus. Okay. And it's um, very, very, very beautiful. I have to do some advertisement because we still have... 1,000 copies left. 1,000 copies left, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's honestly one of the most amazing electronic okay. uh, artist you. albums. After yeah. In the la yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I really think so. It's very versatile and... Keep it up for <laughs> Crosstown Rebels. <laughs> <laughs> which which one is the better at Get Physical? The better? Yeah, the better. Uh, like better. Better what? Uh, better DJ. Uh, uh, both. You. <laughs> you. Ah. <laughs> you. I, 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 you. Man, I saw you play. <laughs> no, no, I have to tell you. I have I to tell thought you. it's me, but then last no, time... No, 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 listen, no, no, man, no, 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 I, when I see you, I fucking melt it. It's him, I swear. Uh, you know, last time when <laughs> yeah. I listened to you, I, I turned into this guy. Yeah, okay. Yes. Really? Okay. What's next for you? Uh, what, uh, where are your last days? I'm going to follow him, listen yeah? to his DJ sets. That's, yeah. that's all about it's, uh, it. Tomorrow it's Mexico, mm. Guadalajara, and then... Um, and then somewhere else, and then, and then hard pop for Ricardo in uh, Juarez. And we've got 10. Guatemala. Guatemala as well. And then it's like 10 gigs in Mexico in 10 days. And then we really nice. The first gig um, underwater in um, the other place where I booked you. <laughs> <laughs> Going to Les Nuits Sonores? Les Nuits Sonores in Lyon on Thursday. Yeah. We played there two years ago. And this was amazing. It was really an amazing gig. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was, no? <laughs> you remember, for, you yeah. remember for once? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It was really good. Tell me. Yeah, no. A live, um, a live video performance with um, 3D mapping technology. Kinet you call it like. <laughs> Bionic. Kine kinetic. Kinetic. <laughs> 3D mapping. It was. I think we were really yeah, the first. <laughs> we were the first guys using it with infrared cameras and um, double double pro projection. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's complicated. It was. Uh, yeah. It was maybe too complicated. <laughs> Are you laughing on me? No, no I laugh on him. We laugh on ourselves in the video show. <laughs> But we, we, we did this video show, we spent so much money and we played it twice and it was the biggest loss we ever had. So we have to make fun of ourselves, otherwise, otherwise okay, okay. we would really we great. Can do very good advertisement because we tried to um, bring this show to Ibiza now. <laughs> and um, we're going to do every Tuesday on Ibiza. Wow. 
at Vista Club. It's ah. the old former um, Coco Loco and Music Box, and they brought both clubs, they turned it into one. It's of course the most beautiful, exciting club on Ibiza at the moment. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, we were just there. And it's our favorite club. It's our favorite club. Okay, okay, last question. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the uh, underground scene now, in general? Where is the underground? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm very well prepared. So my question is like, where is the underground? <laughs> Where is the underground? Everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah. Then, but that, then it's not, it's not underground anymore, no? Okay. So see, I'm really well prepared. It's not underground anymore. Why? Because it's like electronic music is now like hip hop or like um, rock or whatever, you know? Like it's now 20 years or like more than 20 years, and I think um, you know through ups through David Guetta and and through like a lot of the um, Kevin Harris, I don't know, like this whole electronic mainstream acts it, it became just a mainstream thing like everything else so which is a good thing for us as well because like they're a younger generation coming to the shows again and it's not like you know like only like the old school guys so i i think it's it's okay you know like this but it's uh, to the underground i don't know it's like we never cared so much about the underground because we soaked this up for so long and that's we we always went out like and you know that's how we got into the music with the underground no, but ah, what makes you different what makes you different from uh, David Guetta or it, it's, I, you know it's like maybe like a it's it's the same when you have like the XX or like Brian Adams you know it's like the one is like it's just a feeling that you have when you listen to your music and the other one is like a very designed project you know like you you know how people react to certain chord change which is okay you know we and Patrick and me we, we we really we stop judging anything it's like whoever you know I saw a concert the other day when I was in a hotel room from Lionel Richie in Paris I was fucking crying and it was like I really don't like it but it was so emotional because he played for 30,000 people so it's just whatever people want they should get you know you are crying I was, yeah, I'm always crying. Even if I see a dog food commercial. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs>